Good morning. It is almost 3 a.m. I think and I'm traveling to Seattle with Sahra alone for the first time. I'm going to try to vlog it as best as I can. We're going for my best friend Amina's wedding. So um, come with me and my toddler on our first ever solo trip. This is my airport outfit, and it's kind of chilly outside, so, so I have the sweater. We just got to the airport. Um, we're checking in my suitcase, because I have one suitcase, and then we're gonna gate check. <laughs> we're gonna gate check Zahra stroller. Um, I have my fanny pack for ease of access for my passport, her passport, and our boarding passes. Um, and then I have this little leash for her if she wants to walk and I'm wearing a backpack so I'm not bringing a carry-on with me. Admiring the art while Baba is here before he goes to work. This is Jacksonville Airport. We wanted to spend a little bit more time with Hassan before going through security so let me just show you Jacksonville Airport. Don't sleep on our airport because we got rocking chairs. That's the TSA um, security line that we're about to go to. And there used to be a Starbucks there. I'm really happy they changed it to Southern, Southern Grounds, excuse me, because you know, we are boycotting. You did so good. So we just got out of security and we're headed towards our gate. Our flight boards in 25 minutes, so we were able to spend some time with Hassan before going to our flight. Okay, we just got off our flight, and our next one is destination Seattle. We're gonna go to gate C15. Letting Minnie walk around for a bit. She found the candy store. B and Minnie are just having a snack now. We brought our banana and we bought a Gatorade. And we had some Hello Panda earlier. Charlotte Airport is huge. And there's so many food options here, it's so nice. Um, Minnie and I decided to take a little break. We're gonna have our snack, uh, go to our gate, and then hopefully have a potty break before our flight. Had to break out the iPad. We're just gonna change her diaper and the space is so limited. So we're off the plane now and I'm going to baggage claim to see if I can find my mom. I think she's at baggage claim too. I'm not sure. Okay, that's my mom. Okay, for this next part, you guys, I'm gonna have to do a voiceover because I don't know why my uh, volume didn't work when I recorded it. But I wanted to show you this bag that I took with me. Um, I didn't have a carry on. This bag is so purposefully built. We got this at the Macro Baby Store in Orlando. So many pockets. Um, easily to access this pocket we use for the box of wipes um, has so many other extra compartments I put diapers and the baby rash cream in here um, as well as the side pocket for medication sippy cup bottles you name it <laughs> um, I loved this bag it truly made traveling with a toddler a lot easier it had so many other extra compartments i put our gate tags in there it has this huge back pocket where i put um, her changing pad um, any extra clothes clothes for me a hijab um, and this fanny pack came in clutch i would recommend it to any parent traveling with a toddler um, i used it to put our passports my wallet boarding passes chapstick you name it. Um, I got it actually on sale uh, with Gymshark. Um, so shout out to Gymshark. This came in clutch. Um, we also took her iPad 
And I just want to preface this by saying we're not iPad parents. She doesn't get the iPad at all. She has a limited screen time at home when watching TV and only watches a couple um, very moderated shows that uh, me and Hassan make sure are uh, suitable for her. This is also a busy board that we got off of Amazon. Came in clutch. I loved it so much. She used it at the airport and the airplane and it kept her busy. Highly recommend. And thank you all for watching. See you in the next vlog.